One evening, about a month ago, I learned that my team had performed the fastest, most successful clinical study ever achieved in my industry. I was very proud. All the more so because every expert, every specialist in the field, had told me this would be impossible. I'm the CEO of Biomup, a company located very near to Lyon, and we create devices in hemostasis. Hemostasis is a process by which the blood clots. Every day, we try and help to save lives in critical surgery. My team succeeded by defying conventional wisdom. However, I'm not an engineer. I'm not an MD. Four years ago, I had no idea what hemostasis really meant. I could not even spell it. Could you? But we succeeded. Against conventional wisdom, and my own crossroad moment came when one night in 2014, I had 24 hours to decide whether I could take the helm and make a home run. I didn't know. I tried. We succeeded. What does that tell us now? Is this story one story among many success stories that happen every day in the world and we just don't know about it? For sure. But I'd like to put it into context. And I'd like to think that maybe this story tells something about a greater scheme in our society. Public space, media space are all trusted by experts and specialists. Everywhere on the website of every reputable organization, I'm sure the same here, everybody says that they have 30 years of experience, they've flown the decades during which they have been on a good track record and enforced proven routines that have succeeded a thousand times before. This is respectable and we trust those experts. Now, look what is happening in the political field. It has become the realm of the unexpected. In France, former presidents, former prime ministers are being sent right now to retirement by politicians and contenders the age of their sons and daughters. In the United States, the most famous and arguably most experienced politician in the world has been beaten by a gentleman who never was elected before and looks and talks like a comic book character. In the world of economy, young people of your age, in here, in India, in California, every day, create and reshape reality. They don't just create new softwares, or IPO within three years and become billionaires at 30. This is true, they do that, and this is what media focuses on. But the most important thing is, they reshape the way we live, they change the way we think, they break into our very mind. And guess what? They don't get arrested for it, usually. They create empires, we award them. Now, the comic book president and the teenage millionaire have one thing in common. They did not ask permission. And you and we did not see them coming. The reason is, those same experts we trust, the same very people we believe all the truth, told us it would be impossible. I know them. It's the same one who told me that what we did at Biomup was impossible. What they really mean is, this is beyond our comprehension. So please, don't try. Don't dare. Because if you succeed and prove us wrong, then that opens a new truth that is very frightening for all of us. Now, I'm not telling you that all those changes I alluded to are for good. Some of them might even be scary. But I think I know what is going on, what has been going on and happening, in fact, 
since the dawn of time and that we tend to lose from sight. Call me an optimist, but I believe that freedom and imagination are still very much alive. Now, in school, we all learn that the world is supposed to be turned into a large mass society where the individual has almost disappeared. 19th century, already Nietzsche was talking about the time of the last man, worn out, tired, incapable of any real innovation. We're all supposed to be human equations, products of predictable trends, of things that everybody can define in a book. This is very reassuring, even for us, to think about. But this is all a lie. And I think we see it again more clearly over the last 10 years. The truth is, human imagination and creativity are very much alive. Human imagination and freedom flow out of the human soul and mind as freely as magma can flow out of the center of the earth. Sometimes it rises up very high in the sky like a beautiful geyser and is very beautiful to watch. Other times it flows tranquil like a river or pool. In other moments, we have the feeling that it shatters reality, bursts out, and is very frightening to see. And then, very quickly, this wonderful energy, this hot red magma, turns into a new crust, a new layer of reality, gray and cold, that resembles any other layer, older layer of reality. And this is when we don't, we don't tell the difference anymore. This is at that time that experts step in again and tell us that they understand, that they comprehend what is going on. But the reality is they might be able to observe like the geologists observe the crust of the Earth. But they're never really able to predict or understand how that creativity came to Earth and reshaped our reality. I came here to tell you that our reality does not belong to polite school boys and girls, even you. It certainly does not belong to learned experts and specialists. And it does not belong to smooth-talking politicians. It is being crafted every day by the will and the imagination of free innovators. This is a truth that has always been there. We just tend to lose it. Now, if right here, right now, you don't see exactly where this is arising, if you don't spot under the very eyes where this new crust of reality is forming, where this new freedom is emerging, or what new creation is going to happen and change the way you think, the way you live, then we, you, need to look further, to look beyond. I came here to tell you just this. Keep on opening your eyes. Thank you.